Hello everyone, Jeff here once again uh, with a quick short video. Um, this time uh, showing the uh, Third Man Records vault package that arrived today. And uh, it's uh, quite a neat um, package, so I was just going to show it to you all fairly quickly. I think some of you out there get the Third Man vault uh, packages and I know you'll all agree that it's usually something pretty cool looking and cool sounding too. Um, actually, it came in this record uh, tote bag in, inside the envelope. Everything came inside the bag here. Um, I think this set is a little bit of a departure from other vault packages in that it's, it's reissuing an existing album. I don't think, aside from his own records, I don't think uh, Third Man has uh, reissued another artist's albums and remastered it. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think it was only um, Jack White related stuff. And of course, as you can tell from the picture on the tote bag, the album in question is Trout Mask Replica by Captain Beefheart and his magic band. So uh, it's a uh, double album reissue. Here's the back. I'm trying to do this without glare as usual. Here is the gatefold. As you can see. And uh, each um, each pocket has an album and something else, some other kind of a treat in it. Let me pull out the first one here so I can show you. Um, we've got a 45 that also came with the set as usual. It always comes with a 45 as well. This is the picture sleeve and inside is a 7 inch on white vinyl. You can see the track there. It's uh, Wild Life backed with Pachuco Cadaver. <laughs> which I guess is cool. Um, I admit to knowing nothing about Captain Beefheart. I've heard of him. I've heard of this album. I know it's supposedly one of his famous ones. And um, actually the only experience I have with uh, Beefheart is I think he got one of his songs was on one of the uh, Nuggets uh, compilations. But yeah, this 45 came with the package as well as a lyric sheet Here's the back and here is just pictures of everything and here are all of the lyrics to the songs so that's pretty cool and this has easily got to be the coolest colored vinyl that I've got thus far. Check this out. Is that not cool or what? Like I said, I don't know anything at all about the music. But as far as a cool looking disc, I would have to say that uh, this has got to be among the best. And um, it's a little dark as I'm filming this, but when I first opened this package and looked at it in the light, the colors literally seemed to sparkle and jump out at you. So that was nice. And of course, they come in a nice polyline sleeve, which is always appreciated. <laughs> and um, let me put this one back. 
move to the other side and show you everything that came in there too because there's more stuff there's always lots of stuff with uh i think i just dropped something what did i drop oh hold on i dropped the patch <clears throat> it also came with a patch which may or may not be cheesy i don't know but it's a neat little add-on i guess um it also came with an epitaph for Don Van Vliet, which is Captain Beefheart. There we go. You can see it without glare. Written by Jack White. And the paper, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the light, but it, it's like uh, got a translucent um, look to it. Very cool, very pretty looking. As well as an actual trout mask replica. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I don't know what, uh, I don't know anyone who's actually going to try wearing this, but you never know. And it should have also come with a card telling you all of the contents of the package. It didn't come out of the sleeve all the way. Let me grab it. Here we go. This is the card that tells you about the package and everything that's in it as you can see right there and actually the second disc is the one that I posted on Facebook this one actually looks even prettier than the the first disc if you ask me check that out very nice so now uh, from now on until something else comes along Anytime I, I come across a contest question saying, show us your prettiest vinyl, colored vinyl, this is what I'm going to be showing. Uh, I don't know if the picture I posted does it justice or even if this video does it justice. Now there's a lot of glare, sorry. But uh, this is really a spectacular looking record. It is just amazing. <laughs> so um, for all of you who who get these sets and have, have probably already gotten this one you know how cool these these records are but uh, yeah I uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping that the music I know the music's a little bit avant-garde um, going off of his reputation and I know Frank Zappa produced this album um, <clears throat> I'll give it a listen and a little bit later on I'll just uh, give you my thoughts on it <laughs> so we'll see but uh, yeah I just had to uh, drop in quickly and, and show this off because uh, I love these sets I know um, I know they're a little pricey and I know people bitch about Jack White but um, no matter what you might think of him and his music he does put out a quality product in these um, vault packages um, even the last one where I had the record that was uh, slightly warped once I was able to get in touch with them which took a couple days but once I got in touch with them they uh, they replaced the record no problem didn't have an issue with it so um, yeah so I don't know if this is going to be a continuing trend among third man I don't know if they're going to reissue any more uh, Beefheart or Zappa records it would be kind of nice because I don't have a lot of experience or um, knowledge about either one either person so um, hopefully this will be a new trend and kind of uh, help uh, third man branch out a little bit beyond you know just Jack White related material so I thought this was a pretty cool thing and I just wanted to show it to you all so uh, thank you for watching liking, commenting, and subscribing. And um, everybody have a nice weekend. And uh, peace. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.